Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a hair update video for you guys. I wanted to do this so that I had a video that I can just reference you guys to in case you have questions because I have since lightened my hair. I know a lot of you have noticed, but I went from a three to a six just in case you're curious and I want to talk you through the process of what my hairstylist did which is my cousin Holly. I will have her Instagram linked in the description box for you guys to go check out. If you guys are in the KW area and looking for a great hairstylist definitely check out my cousin Holly. She is amazing and she color corrected my hair better than I ever thought possible honestly because I've been so worried about lightening my hair back to where my natural color is because my natural color would be a six. It's actually closer to the lighter bits on my hair currently is my natural color that's coming in. I haven't had to dye my roots yet, but it is fairly light compared to the basically black hair I had previous. I did have a dark natural brown. It looked black basically. Everyone honestly just said I had black hair. And I would agree because when I would dye it, it would virtually go black and would kind of fade to maybe see brown, but it looked mostly black. But it was technically a 3N that I had. If you like my previous hair color, which was darker, I will link you to my video of how I did that at home because I did that for 10 plus years and that video was still my routine up until I recently did my hair. But I was using a Demi, which is from Ion. It's their Demi Cream Color in 3N Dark Natural Brown. I'll have my previous hair dye linked below as well. However, I do have a full video on that, which I recommend checking out if you're curious on how I got my previous hair. I've been wanting to lighten my hair for years. <laughs> I know you guys who follow me have heard that I wanted to do this, but I've always held back because I pride myself on the health of my hair and I was always worried that to get my hair back lighter, it would have to be bleached, like my whole head bleached. And I did not want to do that because I know how bad bleach is for your hair. I talked to my cousin about this. She reassured me with this one product she was going to use. It's not bleach, but it will remove my previous color from my hair. So that was the first step we did and I had two visits. So I'm going to talk you through each of my appointments. The first one we went in and I wanted to get the base color which is a six. And the thing about my hair is it looks different in various kinds of light. If you saw me in daylight, my hair looks so much lighter. On screen, my hair has always come up darker. So you can imagine this is lighter. I will put up various pictures so you can see kind of the tones in my hair, but these are the two colors she mixed to get the base of my hair. They are from Goldwell. But before we could put these colors into my hair, we had to lighten it. I wrote everything down for you guys. I asked her to tell me exactly what she did. My first appointment, Holly used the Goldwell Hair Color Remover. And this isn't bleach, but it will remove the color you have on your hair and you're basically left with your natural hair. So my hair did look lighter because my natural hair is lighter and she was telling me that these kind of color removers didn't work before on demi hair color it would work on permanent i guess i think that's what she said so this one did work on my demi hair color to help lift that from my hair I took a picture and sent it to my friend stephanie we were both at the hairdresser at the time and you can see just on my hair with the color in it how much it was lifting from when she just put that all over my head so I will have pictures of how my hair looked after the first initial removal of the color and then the dye of my hair, which are with the Goldwell hair color. She mixed 6B, which is gold brown, and 6N, which is dark blonde. I actually really liked how warm my hair looked after <laughs> the initial lifting. She told me not to be scared because it did pull really warm. And I'm like, I actually kind of like it. <laughs> I like how warm my hair looked because my hair before looked so ashy. I couldn't believe it. How ashy my hair color looked prior to going this. It just looks so much softer on my skin tone, which makes sense because it's close to my natural hair. It just looks more natural on my skin. So I'm very happy with the tone she used. I didn't want anything too warm initially, so she did mix and she explained it to me and it made sense for my whole head. So I was actually really happy with the first result 
of my hair. My end goal was to get a balayage, which I do have now. I didn't even know if I was gonna go through with that because I did like just how my hair looked, just all over color and lightened. So that is what happened on our first appointment. And then we went back to the second because I had some hot spots on my head that I wanted her to fix up my roots because that can happen with the heat of your hair and she fixed that up for me but also we decided to go ahead and do my balayage then and I'm so happy I did. So when she did my roots, touched up my roots, she used these two mixed and a 10 volume which is what I was using previous with my eye on. I just used a 10 because I'm not lifting my hair. If you're lifting your hair, you go higher, but it's not lifting so I can go low and slow is what she said. That's what I wanted to do with my whole hair. And then I wanted it rooted. So you can see, I don't have the highlights that go all the way up to my root. It starts probably about here and goes down. I wanted that because I needed a style that I could maintain at home. That was also a big thing with me when I wanted to do my hair. I wanted to make sure it was something that I could touch up my roots on my own because I don't like going to the salon all the time. That's why I've stuck with my hair routine for so long because I just don't like how much time it takes, the maintenance, all that kind of stuff. I wanted a balayage, low maintenance, so we didn't start all the way up on the root of my hair. I wanted it rooted. So that's something you'd have to ask for if you want my type of hair, ask for it to be rooted. And then to get the highlights in my hair, she did have to use bleach. So to get that kind of lightness to your hair, you do need a lightener in your hair. And my hair honestly feels better after visiting her and the products she has used in my hair. She told me hair has come a long way, used Olaplex in my hair to prevent any kind of damage. And I am so happy I went through with it and I shouldn't have been worried honestly because she knew what she was doing. Olaplex is amazing. And there was a couple treatments she did on my hair, like this one Olaplex one, which I will show you guys after that I actually got her to buy for me from Cosmoprof and I paid her back because I wanted that at home. You can't get it at Sephora. It's like a stylist only type of product and it's amazing. I'll show you guys that soon when I go through my products. Then to get the balayage, the highlights, she backcombed sections and she wove them and used lightener and a 10 volume on those sections. So she did that all over my hair and then to tone that once that was done, she toned it with 8N and 9NA. I'll have it in the description box for you guys. And she used Goldwell Pure Pigments, Pearl Blue, one drop of that because blue cancels orange. And she used one drop of Cool Pink, which she explains cancels green. So don't want any kind of orange or green in the hair. So that's why she used those two colors. If you look at the color wheel, it makes total sense to use those to oppose those colors in your hair. And then for at home to tone my hair, I asked her what I should use, if I should use a blue shampoo, purple shampoo, like what should I use? And she actually recommended a purple shampoo to me even though I was reading that blue is good for those with brown hair in my tone, but she said that blue can darken the highlights and that's why she recommended a purple to me. And I ended up picking up the Olaplex number 4P, which is a blonde enhancer. I've used this twice so far. I don't need to use it right now because I don't need any toning, but it's like a indigo purpley blue shade. So it's a very, very dark purple. Looks blue to me, honestly, it has a lot of blue in there. <laughs> so I think that's why it worked nicely for me. And I don't use this on its own. I actually mix it half and half with the Olaplex Bond Maintenance Shampoo. So that is everything that I did to get my hair from a level three to a six. We are lighter. I love it. It feels healthy. It's shiny. It's manageable. I don't notice any kind of breakage or anything that I was worried about, honestly. All my worries tossed aside because my hair is healthy, feels great, and I'm so happy to have it finally lighter, to finally go back to my natural color because I am around this color naturally so that when my roots grow in, my gray hairs don't show as bad. It has that warmth to it that's really nice on my complexion and not so dark and harsh against my skin. So I'm very happy with the change. I was dark brown, virtually black for years and years and I'm just so happy with my hair right now to be light. So if you guys were anything like me and worried, I hope this assures you, gives you some ideas to get back 
to your natural color if you're like me and looking to do that or to color correct your hair in any sort of way I definitely recommend going to a hairstylist who can do that for you because I would never have been able to do this on my own <laughs> honestly so I'm so happy with what Holly did for my hair come the summer I might put some more lighter bits into my hair but we'll see I love the color it is right now so I have no desire to go any lighter at the moment I'm loving how warm and rich it is and just so happy to have lighter hair finally. This is the Olaplex product she used on my hair after she dyed it. It's the Olaplex 4-in-1 Moisture Mask and she got this at Cosmo Prof. It says professional use only so I think you have to buy it from like salon places like that but the four aspects of this are moisturize, smooth, adds body, and shine and that's the thing that I truly noticed with this is how much body it gave my hair because my hair previous was pretty limp. I've noticed since that I definitely have more body to my hair, which I absolutely love because often when it does get longer, it just weighs down my hair <laughs> like this. So I like that I've managed to maintain some body in my hair while also moisturizing it because volumizing products like that can dry out my hair, but my hair is really nice and moisturized and healthy. And this is definitely a product I recommend looking into or having your hairstylist do to your hair. I haven't even used mine at home yet. She just did the one treatment and I needed it. <laughs> like whatever you used on my hair, give me it all. So that is it for how I lighten my hair from a three to a six. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're curious about any other sort of products I use on my hair, I can definitely do further update for that, but that will be a whole different video on products, tools, all that, that I do use in my hair. I just wanted a dedicated video for how I lighten my hair because I've had so many questions and now this is your one-stop shop to check out give to your stylist if you wanted to do the same thing and I hope this helps you out. So thank you guys so so much for watching for clicking on this video. Again if you want to see my old hair I have a video for you guys to check out. It's one of my more popular videos on my channel how I dyed my hair at home so hope that helps you out too. If you have not subscribed already I would love for you to do so by hitting the red subscribe button, the bell if you want to be notified of all my future videos and I will see you guys in my next one.